So these two guys break into a uh, 7-Eleven. Sure they did. And uh, they're down the liquor aisle, and the one guy grabs this bottle, and he shows it to his partner in crime, and he says, is this whiskey? And uh, he says, not as whiskey as robbing a bank. Juice! Hey, we'll go back to our stupid rice cup, Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports on Patreon. Follow us on account, subscribe, and hit that like button. Is this whiskey? <laughs> Today we got a Dulker Salman interview with uh, uh, Anupama Chopra. Anupama Chopra. And this is from a larger interview, um, but it has been cut up to some of the, the, the best parts by Okay, somebody. great. Um, we haven't seen a lot of, if any, Dulker interviews. And I he, can't recall one. Maybe he, he was in a group one. We and saw. he is whose child? Uh, I think it's uh, it starts with an M, mm. and it's uh, I don't remember. Ah, uh, well, it's probably not important. <laughs> True. Here we go. Banyan, uh, you. Uh, you know I've watched your movies. I'm a big, big admirer. That was an amazing um, interview. I loved. The promo of Karwa. Thank you. It looks like so much fun. Ah, and I also love that they say introducing Dulkar <laughs> Salman. <laughs> when we That's all know Irfan that you're a film. massive, massive star <laughs> a in Malayalam cinema. So how does I, mean, it... I shouldn't be nodding my head for that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but how does it feel to be sort of a globally famous newcomer? Before I forget, I'm a huge admirer of yours. <laughs> and, uh, you. I'm a huge fan, actually, because uh, uh, it's so easy to, to sort of, uh, uh, you know, uh, in interviews to kind of uh, be negative or try to get certain reactions out of your interviewees and uh, I, I think you do such a lovely sort of balance and uh, even in your criticism I feel like I'm like oh it's like that you know? <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I still watch those movies uh, because I feel like you find something positive in everything they say. Um, coming to your question um, I think it's a it's a it's a privilege right I mean how many actors get to uh, debut four times. You know, so, uh, <laughs> That's uh, true. I've been very lucky to get these opportunities, and uh, I know some people are complaining. They're like, uh, you know, how can he be introduced? You know, uh, you can't ne neglect uh, the past 25 films or whatever. But I think it's genuinely like a blessing. You know, it's uh, it's uh, being introduced these are after 25 films. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> obviously from the work that I've done in the past, and uh, also just. Maybe because of whatever is my schooling or just being able to figure out languages, uh, I'm getting these chances. So it's a, it's a very special privilege, I think. And you have no ego about this? Not at all, not at all. No, I think, I think it's genuinely, like, I feel blessed. Really? I, I, and it's, it's nice to read that. I, I read it the first time in 2012, and I'm still reading it now in 2018, so it's great. But you <laughs> say in many of your interviews that you don't like the word star or stardom. No, I mean, th those words are absolutely fine. I just don't like them associated to me. As no. in, I don't quite buy it. As in, um, so when I say star, what comes to your head? Who comes to your head? For me, first, Samadha There you go. Uh, or you say superstar who comes. So these are the, these are the uh, images that come to my head when I hear these words, right? And uh, I'm in my head always learning and always starting out and I'm uh, never good enough uh, as an actor. I feel like I still have so much more to, uh, to hone and uh, to kind of learn and get better. And also my internal battles, I feel like only I know. So I might seem very confident on screen or I might uh, seem convincing as an actor or as, as the character. But inside, I have my own battles that I'm fighting, uh, where I'm afraid of not being convincing or not being correct. Or in Malayalam, it's always I'm that urban boy because I grew up in Chennai. So I have to fight to convince them I can play uh, the local rural uh, character. So there's always something I'm trying to prove. And to be called a star or anything, I think, long, long way to go. Do you? Um still have those battles? I mean, you talked about being very camera yeah, yeah. shy. I'm super and... nervous now also. Like, I'm sitting here with you, I'm like, is my voice trembling? Am I, like, shaky? This, this happens, but uh, I feel like it's good for me. I think uh, fear is good. Um, I think that brings about a certain uh, sincerity to what I'm trying to do. If something doesn't scare me, then, then I feel like I might take it too lightly. <laughs> so what about working here surprised you? What were you totally not expecting? Nothing unexpected really happened. Uh, I, I know there's a lot of uh, that um, corporate studio sort of culture which is in a, in a very good way. Like I feel everything is 
so organized and everything is uh, planned to the T uh, and so professional in that sense. Like in Malayalam, I see, I see that with the senior directors, those who have had that film discipline when they're working with film, because film used to be such a huge uh, component of our expense those days. So to keep uh, the film tight and within budgets, they had to shoot you know, that uh, effectively. But as it switched to digital and the younger filmmakers never had to worry about that. So now I think we are a little more indulgent. So funnily enough, my films with uh, say a Mani sir or, or Karma for that matter were shot much quicker than my Malayalam film. Really? Karma was 34 days. Start to finish. That's yeah. a, always that's against the stereotype, right? We we always have this thing. Yeah. Nee, nee, south mein bahut jaldi karte hai. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So for me, OK Company was 43 days. Um, Mahanati was 45 days. My average Malayalam film is 55 to 60 days. Whoa! Really? Yeah, so which is also why I feel like I can afford to do this one language here and come back. I'm not really gone for that long. I'm just, it's like doing another Malayalam film or something. Just a month. But yeah, so it's been the opposite for me. And what's the sort of response like in within Kerala, in the Malayalam film industry? Are they protective of you? Are they sort of nervous for you? I think they're quite proud of the fact that, uh, that I'm convincingly even speaking these languages. So, and if the films turn out well, it's, it's, they're quite proud of the fact. I think when Mahanati worked, I got really that kind of a feedback. They were so proud that I, I could go there and do that. You know, it's like, oh, our boy has gone to Telugu and he's done well and come back. <laughs> it's like... Papu pass out Yeah, so like Indian families, you know, like uh, working in America or getting a job there or something. It's like that. It's, it's sweet. It's very sweet. And uh, they're always encouraging, but they're just like, but uh, come back, you know, like make sure, when is your next Malayalam film? Like uh, don't, don't, stay too, don't stay away too long and things like that. Yeah, it's very sweet and genuinely blessed in that sense. You know, I was watching Ustad Hotel and there's one uh, scene in which a character looks at you and says, uh, and he's handsome like Mamuti. <laughs> <laughs> so this is something I never got actually uh, growing up. They're like, really? Oh, you don't look anything like your father. So that was, that was the case all the time, right? And uh, so even when they, they wrote that line in the movie, I was asking the directors like, like uh, Anurka, do should we use that line? Like I, I don't quite buy it. I don't think I don't think they think that. I don't way think anyone's about. gonna see it. <laughs> and uh, but I mean now I guess they're, they're okay with it. And I think they find it just nice much to hear younger one. I think it's it's kind of like it's a very Indian thing to kind of see. But it's just sweet. It's sweet. Yeah. You know, it's it just, just makes you smile. Yeah, exactly. Right? But I w always thought like no way. Like and this is another reason that I didn't know if I could make it as an actor because I was like I don't look anything as good as my father or I don't know if I can perform like him. Big he's shoes. Obviously it's a big shadow. And obviously, um, you know, uh, baritone and uh, there's just no one like him. He's a man's man. Man's man. Yeah. And I'm more yeah. like boyish or whatever it is. Right. So I remember kind of cringing when I read that line for the first time. Even when watching it, I'm like face palm. <laughs> <laughs> but it's sweet. I mean, like it's, it comes from a good place. Is there a burden, Dulkar, to being his son? I think uh, less now. So now when you talk about me, I feel you, you say Ustad Hotel or you say Bangalore Days or Charlie. You don't initially Im immediately say Mr. Mamuti's son. So, but uh, the burden, I think, growing up was that like I just didn't want to fail uh, in anything I do. You know, it's just not just about being an actor. I just thought. Uh, He's always led by example. He's uh, uh, got great integrity and lives by his principles. And uh, so many, so many, so many ways. I just wanted to make sure, like, I make him proud, you know. Mm. And uh, and that that's kind of the thing with uh, our entire family. Like nobody rose to heights like he did. So even within. Uh, you mean the larger family? Larger family. It's 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 like something everybody really looks up to, you know. So I just had to kind of live up to that, you know. So uh, so I think it, that's helped me. You know, always trying to do quality cinema, always trying to kind of perform as well as I can and choosing for the right reasons, uh, just generally my conduct and behavior, things like that. But that's pressure you put on yourself. He's true, never put true. on you. Yeah, no, I think he's always just told me. Was he a tough dad? No, actually he's a very cool dad in that sense. He said, look, I'm not going to ask you to be the first in class. I'm not going to ask you to uh, study hard or whatever, but I'm the best at what I'm doing. <laughs> Three national awards. No pressure, but yeah. I'm the best. I'm the best. So whatever I do, I'm the best. So whatever you do, make sure you are the best at it. But I'm not going to tell you to do it. I'm just showing you what I, how, how it's done. <laughs> I saw this interview where you said that people didn't even know you were his son. Yeah. Well, because you grew up in It is very sweet that way. Like my folks, uh, so I don't even have his last name. My last name right. is Salman, which is not, and nobody in my family has that last name. And that was something. How is that? Can you explain why? So he didn't want us to kind of be 
singled out in school. Like, you know, want that, he didn't want that mm. attention. But if I went to school in Kerala, it would inevitably have happened. Yeah. But uh, I think even in just reading my name, he didn't want that sort of identity yeah. uh, to strike. So even now, like, he never, he's never got into uh, any of my movies or promotions or nothing. Like, he's, he's like, we're two different actors. So if they ask him in an interview, about me, he says, I don't speak about other actors. But I think that's really helped me, you know, in, in, in the sense that sure. I've carved my own sort of yeah. place, I think, and uh, I have my own identity, if, if I can. But you never resented it? You never said, Dad, just help? No, no. Never. No, I think, um, so I've always had this sort of like deservability meter in my head. I think my mum put that there. So if we had to get anything like, why do you think, why do you deserve a holiday? You failed this exam. You know, <laughs> so, uh, so and she's. You gotta earn it. Yeah, so she's like, I remember this one trip that we went to England, and I had failed uh, in two subjects in, in school, and that whole holiday, she made sure I I, I was constantly reminded of this. She's like, you failed two subjects. You don't deserve this holiday. Uh, and you don't have too much. If fun. I if I want to pick up something, want to buy a toy or something, like, why do why do you deserve this toy? <laughs> so in my head, I have that meter all the time. So. I don't think uh, I would have even liked for him to, uh, to help. You know, to help. Yeah. Uh, Tulkin, I really enjoy your Instagram. <laughs> you know, Thank you. I feel like you come across as a real person. You come across as somebody who is using the platform to kind of give us an insight into your life, like how difficult dubbing in Telugu was. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. You you give us a picture. And I was really intrigued by this one. Um, you know, you're a you're a car lover, and yeah. you put out these pictures of, of yes, these yeah, yeah. <laughs> beautiful cars. But with it, you also say that I request others to not find it offensive or elitist. This, I think this is reflective of Kerala and my people. You know, um, <clears throat> it's very, it's also India, I think. It's very, it's, um, it's tricky in India to have... Inter sorry to interrupt, but it's not India. I mean, as far as I know, most people, non-actors included, mm -hmm. are using Instagram to say, look at my two-lakh handbag, <laughs> this is my vacation. Right, okay. Okay, there's nobody apologizing for the lifestyle they're showing on that platform. True, true. So, so, how are you doing this? Again, like I said, you know, my larger family uh, have very sort of humble lives. And uh, it's right there for us to see all the time. So, I've never... I happen to like cars, and I, sometimes I wish I didn't. You know, um, I wish it was like an expensive hobby, coins yeah. or something. <laughs> but uh, so my mom has always kind of like um, reminded us. You know, this is uh, there's so much, so many people around you that that, that are needy or that need uh, that could do so much more with this money. So always spend wisely or whatever it is, or don't uh, spend it so easily. And uh, but I just see this as like a. For me, it's like a hobby. I don't think um, I'm sinking money into these things. A lot of the times, I'm unlocking value from <laughs> old cars and I restore it. But I just want to be sensitive to to people who see this and then... Uh, you never know what their lives are like, you know, and sometimes they might not have got opportunities to uh, to either succeed or to get better things in life, and it shouldn't seem like I'm putting this in their face. Um, but also, there's a whole bunch of others who kind of want to see, or they they're kids who love cars and so I do want to share that with them but I don't want to come across as uh, showy in that sense I just want to be sensitive to those people and have you always been this sorted or uh, I don't I, that's, uh, you have to work at it you no know, funnily enough like I think me and my, my, my sister and me keep saying this we're like why do they keep saying we are so normal like how will say how are you supposed to be you know that's my big question I'm like and I even uh, the other kids that I've met whether it's you know Mr. Mohanlal son or like they all seem fairly normal to us you know and we don't I don't think we were ever uh, led to believe that we're special or uh, our lives sure we had a nice home and you know my dad had nice cars we had holidays and stuff but I don't think uh, it wasn't like Richie Rich or it wasn't you know, like something out of the movies. It was very normal. So I don't think I can be any other way. But from what I've heard, there are like women screaming your name and, and that level of fandom. So doesn't that go to your head ever? So I was always, uh, I was not that, that guy uh, growing up. I always, no, had, no, I, always, now? I always had the good looking friend, right? So all the girls would be crushing on him. I'd be like, uh, you know. Yeah, but now? But I, I, came in a, I came in as a married actor. And I think, the, I, think, I think all of them kind of like us as a unit, you know. They, it's not just me in particular. They seem to like Amal as much. Or now they seem to like Mariam as much. Uh, so it's, I think they Cute like baby. us as a unit. And so it's not, 
It's always very sweet. It's from it's a it's a nice place, and almost all of them that meet me, they're like uh, they're like, how's Amal doing? How's the baby doing? So it's like that. So it's, it's almost like I'm part of their lives in some way, you know. And I've had little girls wanting to be my sister or like play my sister on screen, you know. Um, they just want to be uh, part of my life in some way, you know. And that's that's it's genuinely just a lot of warmth. But again, I don't spend too much energy thinking about any of this. Because uh, I don't know how that will affect me. I think so I'm good at that. I'm good at kind of shutting things right, out. Right, you consciously shut it out. Yeah, I'm just like smile, click, click, click pictures, and I go to my whatever I was doing, and that's that's best, I think. So Dulkar, you had a release uh, last year, Bijoy Nambiar solo. Yeah. Oh. oh, gotcha. Okay, that's where it ended. <laughs> okay. Um, the the most interesting thing in there was the fact that one the the, the last names have always intrigued me mm. uh, in India. But specifically, Mamudi going to the extreme of like, you're not going to get anything because you're my son. <laughs> um, like, you're not even going to get my last name because I don't want people to treat you differently. Yeah. Um, which, I mean, especially if you grew up in parts of Kerala. Absolutely. You're, <laughs> you're Mamudi's son. Right. And it's just like if you're Mahanlal's son or, sure. or Super Star Rashikant's sure. son. Um, I don't know what their last names are. Uh, Shah Rukh Khan's kids. Yep. Um, you're going to, even though obviously I'm sure everybody already knew it. Yeah. But I'm guessing it's but, I mean, more of a protection. We were introduced to him as Dulkar Salman and then later found out who his dad was. <laughs> That's true. So, Much and, I, I, and I think it just depends obviously on the heart of the person. Some people feel like, so I'm sure, you know, I, I'd love to know if how uh, Abhishek feels about his name and if that was ever a thought he had in regard to that if he likes that i mean it's the whole either way whether you carry the name or you don't you still have to have as he pointed out it's a big shadow that is apparent whatever the industry that's not just in the entertainment industry any industry where your parent is a trailblazer if you go into that industry it's inevitable there's a there's a there's a pressure there there's a a sense of responsibility i don't want to let my family down because it's the family name and um i uh he seems to carry it really really well he seems to carry it really well and quite humbly just don't with your cars i pray you don't do what so many wealthy people do which is fly their freaking cars around the world so they can drive their car everywhere they go that just that really boggles my mind taylor doesn't do that she just takes a private jet everywhere <laughs> well they have private jets for their cars so that they can drive their car wherever they go um that's that's mind-boggling to me but the yeah it's be super interesting to know his um like how much people around him knew who he was. but it seems like mamudi really wanted to uh Make sure he had as normal of an upbringing as possible. And I think he also wants him to stand on his own as well. Like he said, he doesn't. Dad doesn't come to any of the premieres, and I'm sure it has nothing to do with support. It has everything to do with I want all the attention to be on you. It's your film. Yeah. I show up. Not what I it's think about his film. Not ab absolutely. And that happens in all situations. You have somebody who who like if if for example if I, I'm my acting class if Ashley was to start she would not start the the day that I go. Mm. Because she's my daughter, and and one, that would be there. And then when she's performing, she has me in the room. Mm -hmm. It's going to do stuff to her head versus if I'm not there. And she's solely building relationships with people based on her relationships and doing her work. You know, there's 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 pros and cons to all of it. Yeah. But they seem to have a very good handle on it as a family. Yeah. Yeah. Super, super interesting. Um, <laughs> nice interview, as always. She's uh, wonderful. Yeah, she's always... She's one of the best. Super, super nice yep. in her interviews. Love to talk to And her. I love her when she reviews a film, too. She's pretty honest. Yeah. And obviously. She doesn't pull back. We don't always agree. No. Uh, and, and our, sometimes we have <laughs> wildly, wildly different. Wildly different. Like most. Uh, like most. Different opinions. But I've loved when she has pointed out things she doesn't like about a film. Because she's not the kind of reviewer who just is just going to always be say, saying praises for something. She's going to say if she didn't like something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've not often i mean we've often not agreed with her jimmy cage as well um, well even siskel and ebert had 
violently different opinions on certain films. They were fun to watch. Rick and I have never had a different opinion. We agree on everything. Yeah, we agree. Every film. Every single film. Yep. Especially Bollywood. Oh, yeah. We have to give Especially all Bollywood. of them praise. Always. Um, <laughs> anyways. Uh, that was great. Let us know what other interviews we should watch. Let us know what the next Dolker uh, film should be. Um, and I feel like him and his dad should do a movie together once. Didn't they? I thought they didn't. I thought they have done one film together. Don't know. Yeah. Uh, let us know. And what should be our next Dolker film? Down below. Juice!